Okay, I just saw something online recently that got me kind of super excited. Um, I learned that you can tattoo soap. So this is my necromancy soap with my gorgeous skull on there. And I made these for Halloween. I still have a few bars left, so I thought I would try out this tattooing. So we're gonna turn our bar over to the unstamped side. And I have these roses. We're just gonna lay them down. And I have some distilled water. And we're going to soak the paper backing on this and see if we can tattoo our soap. These are just uh, skin safe temporary tattoos, the kind that you get like in nickel slots, the kind that they use at kids parties and stuff like that. So absolutely skin safe. So there's no problem with putting it on the soap. Um, it'll be interesting to see how it wears or how it sticks to the soap. But just like you would when applying it to your skin, you're going to make sure that the back of the tattoo gets fully saturated. You want to hold it still and then as soon as the paper starts to slide like it is now, you just gently slide it off. Oh no! It's not sticking. Oh! You know what? <laughs> that was my mistake. Um, I believe I was supposed to peel off this plastic covering first. Ah, well that's a bummer. Luckily I have a backup here, so let's see if I can do this right. Look at that scary spider. Looks like he's crawling into some skin. So we'll try the scary spider instead. I'm glad I had a backup, but I'm really sad that we didn't get to use those beautiful roses. All right, I'm just going to dampen our paper here. Eight nine ten and let's see if it's ready to slide off oh yeah that's so cool I love it spooky spider on a spooky soap that is very very cool as someone who was fascinated with tattoos all growing up I think this is awesome Okay, that was so fun. I want to try another one. So here's another necromancy bar. And this time I have a cool floral dream catcher. And this time I'm going to know to take off the plastic backing. And let's see, is there a side up? We'll do it this way. So we're going to lay that down. Dampen our rag. And this time I'm going to be a little more careful. Last time I was squeezing so hard on the rag that some water dripped down and got on the soap. And I don't want the soap to get wet per se. I just want the paper backing to get wet. So we're gonna lay that on and then drape our damp rag over and count one, two, ten. All right, let's see if it's ready to slide off. Looks like it's working. Oh, no, no, we're having some problems. Mayday, mayday. Okay, so <laughs> I need to work on my technique. But that still looks pretty cool. Actually, I don't mind the way that it's kind of melting off of there. I found another rose design because I really, really want that rose design. So let's peel off the plastic backing. I need to trim this. It's not quite going to fit on my soap bar. And we will lay it on here. And then get it nice and wet. I find that it takes a little longer than 10, uh, 10 seconds. So I'm just going to leave this on here for a little while. I'm going to massage it from the middle out press it down, try to make sure that it really adheres to the bar. Now we'll count to 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And take that off and gently slide. Oh, much better. Ooh, look at that.
at that. That's what I wanted. That is super cool. Yes. It's like laying roses at the grave of your lost love who you want to bring back to life. Woo! Very, very cool. Oh.